okay, these these data interpretation problems are definitely a question of speed. Of course, as, as well as accuracy, you always want it to be accurate, but speed is our quick way to do it without getting all these crazy numbers. And I guess maybe crazy numbers aren't as much as an impediment as they used to be on the GRE. We didn't have a calculator, but still, there's something said for the quick and easy way of doing something. So let me let me draw these pie charts out and show you something here. There's 10 million people here, 8 million people here. This is manufacturing, this is services. Question 19 here is, is asking what? Well, it's asking us to look here at the total. The total. It's saying if you look across manufacturing and services for those employed for at least a week, that means everybody. Boom, boom, 18 million people, okay? But what we have here is then what's the probability of choosing someone from the service sector who's worked 26 weeks or more? And that little part's filled here with 9%. So you can go through here, tabulate all the numbers, and eventually get to the answer. But look at this. Imagine that both of these were 8 million, right? They were basically the same. Well, that 9% would therefore be 4.5% of the total. Notice that we have slightly more in the manufacturing. Therefore, this has to be slightly less than 4.5%. Which is 4%, which is answer choice A. Boom, just like that, no math. 